And I'm making a quick pickup video real quick just so I got some crap to upload over the weekend. So I'm going to show you. So the last pickup video I bought, like, I think it was two Super Nintendo games and three Genesis games. This time I've bought, well, I bought another, two more Genesis games. I don't have them on me, though. They're at my father's house. But I'll, I'll add them in in editing, though. So you'll see those after. But first, let's, we're just going to start with my Game Boy game I got and the I think it's three. Yeah, the three Super Nintendo games I got. So first off, we got Stunt Race FX. It's fun. I mean, it's it's very very early 3D. Once again, the label back here had marker on it, and I failed again. I, I need to stop doing that. I should just leave it because it doesn't really matter. But I like ripped some of the back part off that you see right there. The warnings and crap that don't matter. And so it got like sticky there, so I just put some duct tape over it. I can take it off and dig more at it once I get the time, but right now I don't. But yeah, it's um one of the ones that use the Super FX chips and make some pretty like primitive 3D. It's a racing game. It's pretty fun though. Like I said, I mean Aaron, you know Aaron can't um, Tortero, whatever he he's had it. I played it before a long, long time ago, back when this channel freaking sucked and I sounded like a mouse. All right, next up we got Super Pinball Behind the Mask. I am returning this one probably just because it's so weird. It's legit like the darkest pinball game I've ever seen. It just gives me an eerie feeling for some reason. But I'm not, I'm not a pussy though. I promise it. I'm not like w wimping out or something. It's just I'm not really into it. Thought it'd be a bit better, more arcadey, you know. But it's just weird. Like there's one with a clown and crap. It's not normal, you know. So I'm going to return this. If I can't get it returned directly, I'll just trade it in for cash and buy another game. Like Monopoly or some crap, who knows. And then lastly, on Super Nintendo, I picked up... Well, you've seen these already from the... I'm going to do another updated collection video where you'll see all the pickups from the last couple days. I, I think I might really do one more pickup today when I'm recording this. It's like Friday. The day Jason Bourne came, comes out. I think it's the 29th of July. But yeah, Tetris 2. It's fun. It reminds me of like columns, basically on Genesis, or you have to match the colors that make them fall instead of just fitting them together. But it's still with the Tetris style bricks. So I think it's a little bit harder than columns. Still fun though. So yeah, that is the Super Nintendo pickups for this episode. And now I'll show you the one Game Boy game I picked up just because I can. Oh, I almost beat the, the Ninja Turtles one for Game Boy Advance. I actually have it in my system right now because I'm one, literally one stage away. Okay, here it is. Sorry, I had to do some digging. We got Wave Race for Game Boy. The most popular version of this game is um, Wave Race 64 for the Nintendo 64, obviously. But I got this one. It's okay. I mean, okay, it's not, it's, it's not good. But it's not terrible. Like it's tolerable. It's not the best racing game I've ever played. The graphics are pretty primitive. The worst part of this game is the sound and the steering. But I didn't pay too much for it, and I like collecting anyways. So might as well keep it. I don't plan on returning it. I might eventually, though. Who knows? Because I mean, I am doing it to have a collection. But if there's games like this where I just won't play them, I, I'm gonna return them. I don't need it. I'm not going for complete sets or anything so yeah um this is gonna be a little jump cut and i'll show you the two genesis pickups and then this video will be over let's see ya guys to finish up the video i'm gonna show you my two other pickups they're both on genesis so first up we got a better copy of columns my other one was was trashed and it looked terrible so i just picked this one up and i'm gonna sell off my other one that was in the box that you saw from the first pickups video so this one's replacing it. Looks good. And we got a new game. Super Battle Tank War in the Goth. From what I've seen, it's a pretty realistic, for the time, tank game in like a first person perspective. It is complete manual and game. I read through the manual and like the, con the controls are pretty crazy because, you know, there's only three buttons on the Genesis when this game was made. So... You have to like hit start and the buttons to do certain things and then the normal buttons do their own thing. In order to pause you have to hit A, B, and C all at the same time. I actually haven't even tried this game yet so that's something I might try out tomorrow. But yeah guys that's the end of my pickup video. 
Hope you enjoyed. This is K. May Preston, signing out. I'll see you next time.